can see how trash the sky is getting. It's not a full-blown whiteout, but they're dropping some ridiculous stuff going on here. Look at this thing. You can see there's a nice real cloud right in the bottom of it. <laughs> so you can tell. Real cloud, there's a nice real cloud in the center. Fake stuff all above it. Fake stuff all by the sun. Fake stuff over here. So, these fools finally came out. Dr. Keith, they're going to start releasing stuff in Tucson, Arizona. Geoengineering aerosols into the atmosphere confirmed. Like they're not already doing it. And uh, Arizona, we already see that they're under-reporting the UV levels. Mr. MVB does the uh, readings there quite often. And they're, you know, there's plenty of room for error. These levels are well below half of what they're, uh, or multiple times what they're, they're saying it is. And uh, we know geoengineering damages the ozone layer. So... With Arizona getting extreme UV, they're going to experiment with this stuff right in the same spot. Real smart. And uh, I'm sure none of the citizens were asked. There was no vote on it. So these idiots thinking that someone's going to tell you about it. Or ask for your permission first. That's why the uh, chemtrail community tries to get on this before they start doing it. Because they're not going to ask you about it. And if people don't have an awareness about it, they can do whatever they damn well want. So these idiots out there trying to debunk it and keep it quiet and all of this stuff, they're really just sacrificing their own health because if people aren't aware of this, that means they can release any damn thing they want up in the atmosphere and no one's going to give a damn. So you need to be glad that some people are actually paying attention to it. The air is already extremely polluted with particulate pollution. I've documented it how many times what's fallen from the sky so these idiots are going to put more pollution up in the atmosphere because of the pollution problem that's creating global warming so their answer is to put more pollution it's genius so Trump's uh, EPA if they're against climate change they better get on this shit because you got Wigginton saying oh global warming global warming but he says geoengineering is the number one threat causing global warming so if you got a, a climate denying EPA that would shut down the number one threat, maybe for a different reason, then you still may come out on top. So you don't see anyone in science calling this out, saying we shouldn't do it, blah, blah, blah. Bill Gates funding it, Harvard University funding it. And uh, I'm sure Bill Gates isn't about depopulation. So... We'll find out once they start, you know, tying all of their sicknesses back to it. Meanwhile, people want to say, oh, it's a conspiracy, it's a conspiracy. You know, it's, it's <laughs> only conspiracy is if you watch the, the mainstream news and they don't talk about it. They don't even talk about the fact that they're saying they're going to do it. So they're just a part of keeping it quiet. And the shills on the Internet are the, the other leg of keeping it quiet. And they like to cover their bases with this shit. They like to have someone in, in the music industry, in the entertainment industry, on the news. You know, they like to cover their bases this way. Whatever you're into, you'll have someone there telling you something's bullshit. So, these people all gotta pay back their uh, so-called fame. And that's generally how they do it. You see them coming out in politics all of a sudden, or certain areas all of a sudden. That's them repaying. They're fraudulent careers because half of these people have no talent. I'm going to compare talent back to the old actors and musicians and all of this stuff. These people are fraudulent today. Fraudulent. You can see what this guy's turning into. Filthy. You can see the streams, all of this stuff. Filthy. And this just covered itself in the time I've been videoing. Right by the sun, coincidentally. So, if you've never seen the movie Snowpiercer, go check that out. Nice movie about uh, geoengineering being used to save the planet. And they ended up creating an uh, ice age. And the planet became unusable and, you know, whole plot line behind it. But, uh, basically a movie about the uh, ill effects of geoengineering destroying the planet. So that's what these fools are going to do. Mad science. 
gonna go up and start spraying stuff in the atmosphere. And most of these scientists have already been saying we should have been doing this for years already, which <laughs> they have been doing it for years already. So if you think they're, they've been just saying that, that they needed to be doing it for years and they waited so long that climate change is supposedly so out of hand right now, warmer and warmer every month and every day and every year, and the ice is disappearing, that they wouldn't have started this a long time ago, then you're really out there. You're not following the mainstream uh, opinion on this, this global warming. They would have been all over this stuff, and they have been all over this stuff. So, why do you think they, they removed aluminum oxide from the chemical list from the EPA? This way they could spray this stuff and have no recourse. You have no recourse if uh, it's not a regulated chemical. And most of these things that they, they spray, you know, they can be found in nature as well. So they're covering their bases. They're trying to cover their damn bases. This way they can do what they want. And uh, if it goes wrong, they can kind of write it off. Well, we didn't officially announce it. We only did it small scale. We didn't officially do this. So they're, they're you know, keeping it quiet from recourse. Unless people get on it. These idiots in the street over bathrooms and all kinds of ridiculous stuff. Meanwhile, you could put stuff like this in the sky. And these idiots don't give a damn. As long as there's something good on TV tonight. Unbelievable. If you can't tell this isn't a cloud, you really got issues. Major issues. So, look at this thing. I mean, come on. Ugh. It's scary how retarded people have become. Look at this boy. Scary.